The news headline At break for Tenumbu as court rejects his request. See what happened in court that shocked everyone. You're welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. But kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Endeavor to listen carefully to the end. On Tuesday, the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, which is based in Abuja, matched the three separate lawsuits that seek to void the results of the 2023 presidential elections. Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, the president-elect, and the governing All Progressives Congress, APC, both objected to the petition's merging, but a five-member court panel headed by Justice Aruno Desmani unanimously disregarded their arguments. As they all pertain to the same election, the court determined that the justice of the cases mandated that they be merged and undoed as one petition. As a result, Mr. Peter Obi, a candidate of the Labour Party, LP, was given the deadline of May 30 to present his argument in opposition to the results of the presidential election that took place on February 25. Obi had previously stated that he would need seven weeks to pre present his case using 50 witnesses. However, the court, in its decision, reduced the time to three weeks while giving the Independent National Electoral Commission, Heineck, Ashiwaju Bola Tinumbu, the President-elect, and the Vice President-elect, Senator Kashim Shetima, five days each to respond to the petition. Kabiru Masari, the fourth respondent in the case, was also given three days by the courts to provide his own defense. The court emphasized that it would be able to set a date for judgment if the parties adopted their final argument papers by August 5. The Allied People's Movement, APM, filed a petition to contest the results of the presidential election together with Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who finished second in the poll, and Obi of the Liberation Party, who, pardon, and Obi of the Labour Party, who finished third in the election. The Action Alliance, AA, dropped its lawsuit on May 8, and the Action People's Party, APP, followed suit two days later by also stopping further proceedings on its own elect petition. Although five petitions were originally submitted to contest the declaration of Tinumbu as the election's victor, on the next postponed date, the Justice Tesmane-led panel entered that it would forbid both attorneys and members of the public from entering the courtroom while using mobile phones. Now, concerning the this uh, petition, the hearing that is going on in the election courts, five opposition parties actually wrote petitions against the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate, the vice presidential candidate, APC, and INEC based on the fact that the election was not was not free and fair was not was, was not clear it was rigged and after was, when, when the hearing began the AA and the APP dropped their suits against their respondents 
but the remaining parties in which their hearings are started. The Labour Party asked for seven weeks for them to get their election materials and evidence and also Peter Obi should be able to get his evidences ready because he said in that seven weeks he'll be having 50 evidences evidence to come to the courts but now the courts has merged the three petitions together as one so meaning that the court will be attending to the three opposition parties at one the court the tribunal did not want to waste any time but will the margin of these three petitions to one be able to give the right judgment? Because each party has a lot of evidences and it might take time and hope it will not result to arguments of violence in the courts. Because even Peter will be insisted is having 50 witnesses and now he has been given just two, three weeks to go through all the processes, get his electoral materials ready to defend himself. And the respondent, which is the vice president elect and the president elect, are given five days each to respond to the petitions. Do you think merging these petitions into one is actually a good way for a fair hearing? Please send your comments in the comment section. Thank you. But don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Thank you.